I'm back. Um, if you're new here, hi, hello, welcome. And if you're returning, thank you so much. Anyways, getting into today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to make this crochet heart top that I posted. Um, I posted it here on YouTube as well as TikTok, I believe, and Instagram. It's pretty much anywhere on my socials. Go check those out. A lot of you guys have been asking for a tutorial specifically here on YouTube, so we're gonna do that. Before I get into the tutorial though, I need to say that this is not my pattern. It is actually, it was designed by Recreations, I believe is how you say it. I actually followed her YouTube video to make the top, so her channel will be in the description. Again, I can't do any links, so I'll just have her name in the description. I also feel like I should give you guys a little PSA. This top, I would say, is not beginner friendly. The instructions are not the clearest. Um, however, I will be trying my best to simplify them. So if you guys have any feedback for me as to how I can improve this tutorial, please let me know in the comments below. And if you have any questions or confusions um, following the tutorial, you can DM me on Instagram. I will always be checking that. Or you can comment it down below as well. And with that said, let's get into it. Alright, so for materials, I'm using Red Heart Super Saver Yarn in the shade Baby Pink. It's a size 4 worsted weight yarn. You're going to want a yarn needle. And I'm using a 3.5 millimeter hook. You'll need two stitch markers and some scissors. So for this top, we're actually working from the bottom up. So that means we're starting with the heart section first. So to start it off, make a slip knot. And we're going to be making a foundation chain. This foundation chain is going to be eight chains long. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now we're going to make a double crochet into the third chain from the hook. So insert right there, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So this chain two right here is our first double crochet. And then this obviously is our second. So we're going to be continuing this double crochet all the way down to the end of the chain. So we'll have a total of seven double crochets. So now that we have six double crochets with our chain two as our seventh, we're going to chain two. We're gonna turn our work and we're going to skip this first stitch and we're going to go into the second one with a double crochet. So yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. And we're going to double crochet all the way down and we want to make sure we go into the second loop of our chain two. So as you can see, I've double crocheted all the way down. So we still have a total of seven, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six double crochet with our chain two being our seventh. From here, we're going to want to chain our foundation chain, which was eight chains. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now that we have our eight chains, we're going to turn our work and we're going to go into the chain like we did at the beginning with a double crochet into the third loop or the third chain. And from here, we're going to double crochet down this chain, and we're going to stop once we get to the first double crochet in this block. As you can see, I've crocheted all the way down the chain. If you guys want to make sure that you're doing this correctly, each double crochet has a post. So if you want to make sure your count is correct, just count the post. So one, two, three, four, five. There's six posts, and then right here is our chain two, so that makes seven double crochets. Now that we're at this block, we're going to start making the bottom of our hearts. So to do this, we're going to chain three. One, two, three. From here, we're going to count four double crochet tops. So one, two, three, and four. On this fourth one, we're going to insert our hook and single crochet. So up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. From here, we're going to chain three one two and three and now we're going to make a foundation double crochet so to do that we're going to yarn over 
and we're going into the second chain of our chain two. We're going to pull up a loop. So there's three loops on the hook. We're going to yarn over, pull through one, and then yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. And there's your foundation double crochet. So now we want a total of seven foundation double crochets. So to do this, we're going to yarn over and we're going to insert our hook into the bottom of this foundation double crochet. So mine is right here. Going to insert our hook. Make sure to get both loops. And we're going to yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. Every time you make a foundation double crochet, you want to make sure that you are inserting your hook into the bottom two loops of the previous foundation double crochet. So into this one, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. So there's three foundation double crochets. And you just want to keep doing this until you have a total of seven. Once you have seven foundation double crochets, you're going to want to chain two. Turn our work and remember to skip this first stitch. We're going to work our double crochet into the second stitch. Once again, this chain two is our first double crochet. We're going to have seven double crochets until we reach this gap right here. All right, so as you can see, I have six double crochets with my chain two as my seventh. From here, to make the top of the heart, you're going to want to chain five. So one, two, three, four, and five. And then we're going to go back on this chain. We're gonna skip this first loop and we're going to slip stitch into the second and the third loop from the hook. So we go into here the slip stitch and then into the third one with another slip stitch. So after you've done the slip stitches it should be looking like this. From here we're going to chain two and we're going to place a double crochet onto the next double crochet right here. Right now it doesn't look like a heart but if you just flip this down it does make a heart. The heart will be more visible as we go on. So we're going to do our double crochets all the way down. And once again, make sure you double crochet into the second chain of our chain two. Once you have your seven double crochets, we're going to do our foundation chain once again. So that's eight chains. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Once you have your eight chains, we're going to turn. We're gonna double crochet once again into the third loop from our hook. So. Pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. And just like before, we're going to double crochet all the way down the chain, stopping once we get to the first double crochet post. As you can see, I have six double crochets with my chain two as my seventh double crochet. Now, once we get to this block right here, we're going to make the bottom of our hearts once again. So if you remember, we're going to chain three. We're going to go into the fourth double crochet top, so one, two, three, and four right here. We're going to insert our hook and single crochet. Chain three again, two, three, and we will place a double crochet into the last double crochet top. So right here and crochet. From here, you're going to want to place two double crochets into this chain two space. So we're not going to go into the chain, we're just going to go into the space. Two. And there's two double crochets. From here, you want to place another double crochet into these two slip stitches we have. So for me, I like to, we'll get my chain right here. And as you can see, there's my top loop right here, and my bottom loop looks to be about right here. So I'm going to try and insert my hook right below that. So go in and double crochet. So 
Now you have one double crochet in there. Next, you want to place another two double crochets in this chain space. So there's one and there is two double crochets. Now for our last double crochet in this block, we're going to place it into the top of the first double crochet right here. And if you want to go back and count, you can see we actually have seven double crochets right here. So each block will have seven double crochets. So from here, we're going to make another heart bottom. So chain three. And we're going to go into the fourth double crochet once again. But this time, you're going to want to start counting from this first double crochet. So here's one, two, three, and four. And we're going to insert our hook for a single crochet. So as you can see, there's two stitches in between the single crochet and the double crochet. Then we're going to chain three. We're going to skip two stitches. So we're going to insert our hook. And if you guys don't remember, a foundation double crochet is yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. Once again, we're going to make sure we have seven foundation double crochets. Just as a reminder, when we're doing our foundation double crochets, we want to make sure that we're inserting our hook into the bottom of each foundation double crochet. And now we have seven foundation double crochets. This is all you guys need to know to continue your rows of hearts. Of course, you want to adjust the pattern because it'll be longer, but you just want to keep doing the same things. So you just want to keep repeating this pattern until the top gives you the coverage you want around your rib cage. For me, I like to have five rows of hearts. So on the fifth row, there will be a total of five hearts across. Please feel free to rewind the video if you guys need extra help. All right, so as you can see, I have my five rows of hearts. I wanted to jump back in right now so that I could tell you guys that once we get to the end of this block, instead of doing a foundation double crochet, we're simply just going to make a regular double crochet into the second chain of our chain two. There's my five rows complete. If you guys need more rows to get the coverage you like, just simply keep repeating the pattern over and over again until you have the size you need. Now that we have the heart section complete, we're going to be moving on to the bust section. It's actually pretty simple. We're just going to make rows of double crochet. So we're going to chain two, turn our work, and we're going to double crochet across this block. So once again, don't forget to skip the first stitch going into the second. So as you can see, I have my six double crochets with my chain two as my seventh double crochet. And just like before, we're going to double crochet across the hearts the same way. So we're going to place two double crochets in this chain space and then one in this double slip stitch we made. And then just like before, two double crochets in the chain space. And then we're going to place our seventh double crochet onto this double crochet right here. And you basically just want to keep doing this all the way until you get to this end. So I'll meet you back there. All right, so as you can see, I've made it all the way down. I have one more double crochet left. I wanted to come back so I could remind you guys we need to go into the second chain of our chain two. So there's our first row of double crochet. You basically just want to keep doing rows of double crochet until you have the coverage you need. I'm going to have nine rows total, so I have this one and then I'll do eight more. I'll meet you guys back when I have those. All right, so as you can see, I have my nine rows of double crochet. Now we're going to go down the side of the bust section so that we can make the loops for the string that will be tied in the back. So to do this, we're going to single crochet all the way down. You're going to want to remember how many single crochets you made so that you can repeat it on the other side. So to start this, we're going to chain one. And in each of these little double crochet gaps, I like to put two single crochets in them. So we're going to put one single crochet and two single crochet. And we're just going to do this in every gap all the way down. And I'll meet you guys back once I complete that. 
Alright, so as you can see, I've made it all the way down with my single crochets. I have a total of 22. So from here, we're going to chain one and turn our work. We're going to single crochet into the first stitch. We're going to chain three. So one, two, and three. From here, we're going to skip three stitches. So one, two, three. Going into the fourth stitch, we're going to place a single crochet. Then we're going to single crochet three more times. And then we're going to repeat this pattern until we get to the top. So three chains, skip three, going into the fourth stitch with a single crochet, and then three more single crochets. Once again, chain three, going into the fourth stitch with a single crochet, and then three more single crochets. And as you can see, I have three loops. This is where my straps will be going into. Now, depending on how many rows of double crochet you made to cover your chest, you may need to repeat this pattern more than I did. That's completely okay. Just make sure to go all the way up to the corner. Now from here, we're going to chain one. We're going to turn. From here, we're going to single crochet until we get to this gap. When you come to a gap, you just want to put three single crochets into the chain space. And you just want to keep repeating this all the way down until you get to the corner. And that's one side complete. So from here, you can fasten this off. I like to chain one. And remember to leave a long tail for weaving in. And just pull that all the way through. Now you just want to repeat this onto the side. To start on the other side, you want to insert your hook into the bottom corner of your bust section. You want to take your yarn and pull it through and then tie your yarn with a double knot. So there's one and there's two. Make sure to insert your hook where you first inserted it. You want to pull the yarn through. And from here, you want to make sure you're working over this tail so that we don't have to weave it in later. So we're going in with a single crochet. So insert your hook. And single crochet. And then another one in the same spot. And that's how you start. So. Just keep making your way down by single crocheting twice in every gap you can find. As you can see, I've single crocheted all the way up the side, and my total was 22 single crochets, just like the other side. So from here, we're going to chain one, and first I'm going to look back at this side. So from the top, you can see that I have four single crochets before there's a gap. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I'm going to continue by placing three chains, going into the fourth stitch, so one, two, three, four, with the single crochet, and then we're just going to do the pattern like before, and then just like before, we're going to chain one, turn our work, and we're going to single crochet our way back up. Alright, so I finished this side, so we're going to fasten it off just like before. We're going to chain one, leave a long tail for weaving in, and pull that all the way through and tighten it. So to make your scrunch, you want to find the middle heart. If you have an even amount of hearts, just look for the middle stitch and start there. So I'm actually going to zoom in here so you guys can see easier. So to make the scrunch, you're going to want to start in the middle of your piece and you're going to want to pinch every other double crochet row. So I'm going to skip the row that's on top of my heart. I'm going to grab the one after that, just pinch it. Skip a row. Pinch the one after that. Skip a row. And then pinch that one. And then same thing for the fourth one, but unfortunately I cannot grab it. So I'm going to insert my hook. So I'm inserting my hook into what I have scrunched currently. 
So what this does is it holds the scrunch for you. As you can see, if you push it together, it scrunches. And then my fourth pinch is right here. So I'm going to insert my hook there. And there you go. Once you have what you like, you're going to want to take your yarn and pull it all the way through with your hook. Now you're going to want to be careful that you don't snag it on anything. This part can be a little tricky. So I just do it one by one. And there we go. And from here you can pull your yarn just a little bit more. And we're going to just place a double knot. So from here, you're going to want to cut your yarn, but leave a long tail once again so that we can weave it in. To make the straps, you just want to hold the piece against your chest so you can find where you want your straps to be. And then simply just place some stitch markers so that you don't forget. If you want to make sure it's symmetrical, just simply fold your piece in half and make sure your stitch markers align. Starting the straps, just take out your stitch marker, insert your hook so you don't forget. You want to take your yarn, pull it through with your hook, and make a double knot. Try your best to leave a long tail so that we can weave it in later, and insert your hook back into that space. Grab your working yarn, pull through, and then start chaining. Alright, so I ended up with a total of 200 chains. I'm now going to cut my yarn and just pull that through and tighten it. Now, depending on your size, the chains will vary, so try your best to measure it out. And then for the second strap, just repeat what we did for this, and I'll meet you back. Alright, so our top is now complete. All we have to do now is weave in the ends, which I will be doing off camera. And I'll teach you guys how to lace up the straps when I get back. Alright, so I have all my ends weaved in. So to lace up the straps, you're going to want to put your piece with the front side down. So the back side is facing up. You're going to want to take one of your straps, take your hook. You want to cross it over to the opposite side. And it's easy to pull your strap through with your hook. You want to do the same thing on the other side. Take the strap, cross it over, and pull it through the first hole on the opposite side. I'm going to take one of them, pull it through the middle hole on the opposite side, Same thing with this side, pull it through the middle hole. And then take the strap again, cross it over to the other side, and lace it through the last hole. Same thing with the other side. And there you go, that's how you lace it up. And there's your finished top. If you made it this far, thank you so much. It really does help me out. I haven't thanked you guys for, I believe, 300, 400, and 500 subs yet. I can't even, like, I haven't even been doing anything for you guys, and you guys are just supporting me. Thank you. 500, over 500 subs. Thank you so much. It truly means a lot to me. Um, You guys are really helping me get out there, so thank you so much. Again, if you have any feedback for me, please let me know in the comments below, or if you have any questions, feel free, to feel free to DM me on Instagram or any of my other social media platforms, at Crochet and Couture. I'm gonna do the stupid outro that I can never seem to do. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. If you have any suggestions or feedback for me, leave them in the comments below, as I said before. If you want to go check out my other socials, it will be at Crochet and Couture. And without further ado... Oh, consider subscribing! How did I almost forget that? Consider subscribing, please. It really does help me out. And with that all said, I think I got everything. If I didn't, oh well. Bye, guys.